welcome to Crafts with Caitlin. We haven't done a craft with Caitlin for a while. It's been no, cooking with no. Caitlin, mm -hmm. but we are going to show you how to make needles. I'm going to show you how to make homemade, and it's super easy and super fun. And yeah, it's way better than the stuff you buy in a store. So we'll do a comparison at the end. These are two. Mm -hmm. These are knockoffs from Superstore, but you know, same thing. They're play doh. Yeah. So we'll get this started because this may be a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes. So sit back and enjoy yeah, the show. Take that long, I was surprised how so you're going to need a tablespoon of vegetable oil or canola oil or whatever oil is yours. So there's a tablespoon of oil. You will need a third a cup of salt. Now salt is what keeps crisp. It preserved. Uh, well, we'll probably pour, but it keeps it preserved. This is going to run out of salt pretty soon. I'm going to need more. We haven't got more for years. So that's not yeah, salt. everybody buys salt about once every five years. So a third, a third a cup of salt. And you'll need a cup of flour. Now, if your kid is gluten free and you want to make this, then just tell them not to eat it. Well, there's different flours you can use too, like different Wheat kinds flour. of flour. There's I don't rice know what flour. rice flour, but I don't know if it's quite as good. You'd have to try it. We're not sure. Yeah, we're not going to try it today. Because I don't want to go. We don't want to go out to the store and buy expensive uh, no, flour. No. But it's true. Uh, when Lauren plays with it, she has to wash her hands. Yes. Lauren's my cousin, and yeah. her granddaughter, who is got celiac. And now, you will also need, now we didn't have this stuff, but Graham said you can buy it at the store. We couldn't find it, but cream of tartar? That's an old-fashioned ingredient, and people used to use it in cakes and recipes like that. Yeah, you can, I make, you can make baking part powder. Well, I think in the old days, maybe you had to make your own. I don't know if they, so they made baking soda. Now you'll need two tablespoons of this, and this takes the longest to get out. Yeah, it's kind of caked in there. I forget how much that costs. It might have been pretty expensive. It is. Is it? Yeah. It was about eight dollars. <laughs> so that's, we're not going to make too much more Play-Doh. Just one this. more. Yeah. Probably. It's really expensive. I don't know why. Now you also need one cup of water. Now we'll just go over the sink and do this. I'm going to show you while all that's happening. This is one we made earlier. And I, I'd say it's more stretchy and elastic than the commercial kind. So it's really good. Now this is, you will also need food coloring if you desire. If you want to leave your plate a white, I'm sure that's fine too, but I yeah, have to. You can leave it white and then say, take a piece like that, put some food coloring in it, and then you start doing that and you work the color in. But we're just doing the original. Yeah, it takes a long time, but if you want to do it, it takes So you're going to have to go over to the stove, so we'll have Grandpa follow us over to the stove here. Okay, Grandpa, can you do that? Thank you. And now, Grandma's going to do this. I'll do the stir. Have you got your ladle? Here's your ladle. Yeah, you got to stretch your fruit with this. I mean, really stir a lot. I'm going to do some pre-stirring. Oh, it's, not, pre it's not on. Yeah, but I want to stir it a bit before we on. start so it won't be so lump, lumpy. Now go on to medium, yeah, I hate low this. heat. So I'm going on six on our stove. And we're going to color this one orange. And wait till it thickens to put in your food coloring so it's thicker. And you want it to not, don't put it in while it's all still liquidy. Mm. Grandma's going to tell me when it's nice to and yeah, it's in. not really cooked yet. It's got to cook a bit. The flour has to cook. And that takes a while. And I don't have to stir quite as hard now. I, make sure I haven't made this stuff done. since you were about four, Caitlin. Yeah. We made it and we put cookie sprinkles in it, remember? Yes. I don't do that. that was not a good they idea. melted. Is it thickened? Not yet. Because I'm going to color this one orange. We've got yellow food dye and red dye. Yeah, food it's really dyed. not quite yet. Oh, oh, one. oh, yeah, it's okay. There we go. The other one was on a little pie. Uh, I don't. I really don't. It hasn't even started cooking yet. I'll turn it. Do you want me to turn it off? Tiny, tiny bit, yeah. So I'm putting it on seven. 
Well, it won't be long now, but I see it's still not. So this takes about two minutes, maybe. And just to tell you, we got this recipe from Brittany Lee's Taylor. She's a really cool... Yeah, I put it in now. That's I good. like her. I don't know her personally, but I like her. And she's See, cool. look, peppermint, peppermint, yellow. Tell me if I need to add any more. You know, it's really going crazy now. That's sort of like pink now. So if you, do you want purple? I want it orange. Oh, orange. <laughs> okay. A little more yellow, I'd say. That's starting to... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's getting hard to stir. <laughs> And when it gets hard to stir, you want to take it off the stove, but we're trying to incorporate our color a little bit You can more. always add more color later. Yeah, and it's coming out cool salmon-y orange. Now make sure kids do not do this by themselves. No. This is not a great craft. I'd say, no, absolutely I not. Do. There is the type of Play-Doh you can make where you don't cook it. Yeah. And we've never tried that. I have. Have you? Is it any good?